Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. And thanks for joining me. This is morning prayer for Monday, July the 8th. It's the fourth week after Pentecost, and week one in the Psalm cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalms 1, 2, and 3, and 1 Samuel 15, verses 1 through 3 and 7 through 23. Now join me please in singing the first verse of Psalm 66 by Isaac Watts to the tune of New Britain. Sing all you nations to our God. Sing with a joyful noise, with melody of sound record. God's honors and your joys. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, blessed are they that walk not in the counsel of the ungodly. Alleluia. Psalms 1, 2, and 3. And please recite them with me. Alleluia, blessed are they that walk not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stand in the way of sinners, nor sit in the seat of the scornful. But whose delight is in your law, and in your law do they meditate day and night. And they shall be like a tree planted by the rivers, that brings forth fruit in due season. Their leaves shall not wither, and whatever they do shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind blows away. And therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor the sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For you know the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Alleluia! Why do the heathen rage, and the people imagine a vain thing? The rulers of the earth take counsel together against you and your anointed. They say, Let us break their bands, and cast away their cords. You who sit in the heavens shall laugh, you laugh them to scorn. Then you speak to them in your wrath, and vex them in your sore displeasure. I've set my ruler upon my holy hill of Zion. I will declare the decree that God Most High has said to me, You are my son, this day I have begotten you. Ask and I shall give you the heathen for your inheritance, and the whole earth for your possession. You shall break them with a rod of iron, and dash them into pieces like a potter's jar. Therefore, be wise, O rulers, be instructed, O judges of the earth. Serve God the Most High with fear, and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the Son, lest he be angry, and when you perish from the way, when his wrath is kindled but a little. Blessed are they that put their trust in him. Alleluia. O God, how many are they that trouble me? How many are they that rise against me? How many there are which say there is no help from him in God. But you, O God, are a shield for me, my glory, and the lifter of my head. I cried to you with my voice, and you heard me from your holy hill. I lay down and slept. I waked, for you sustained me. I will not be afraid of thousands of people that have set themselves against me all around. Rise, O God, save me, my beloved. For you have struck my enemies across the face. You have broken the teeth of the ungodly. Salvation belongs to you, and your blessing is upon your people. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Blessed are they that walk not in the counsel of the ungodly. Alleluia. A reading from the first book of Samuel, chapter 15, beginning at verse 1. Samuel said to Saul, Yahweh sent me to anoint you king over his people Israel. Now therefore listen to the words of Yahweh. Thus says Yahweh of hosts, I will punish the Amalekites for what they did in opposing the Israelites when they came up out of Egypt. Now go and attack Amalek, and utterly destroy all they have. 
Do not spare them. Kill both man and woman, child and infant, ox and sheep, camel and donkey. Saul defeated the Amalekites from Havilah as far as Shur, which is east of Egypt. And he took King Agag of the Amalekites alive, but utterly destroyed all the people with the edge of the sword. Saul and the people spared Agag and the best of the sheep and of the cattle and of the fatlings and the lambs and all that was valuable, and would not utterly destroy them. All that was despised and worthless, they utterly destroyed. And the word of Yahweh came to Samuel, I regret that I made Saul king, for he has turned back from following me and has not carried out my commands. Samuel was angry, and he cried out to Yahweh all night. Samuel rose early in the morning to meet Saul, and Samuel was told Saul went to Carmel, where he set up a monument for himself, and on returning he passed on to Gilgal. When Samuel came to Saul, Saul said to him, May you be blessed by Yahweh. I've carried out the command of the Most High. But Samuel said, What then is this bleeding of sheep in my ears and the lowing of cattle that I hear? Saul said, They have brought them from the Amalekites, for the people spared the best of the sheep and cattle, to sacrifice to Yahweh your God. But the rest we have utterly destroyed. And Samuel said to Saul, Stop, I will tell you what Yahweh said to me last night. And he replied, Speak. Samuel said, Though you are little in your own eyes, you are not the head of the tribes of Israel. Yahweh appointed you, anointed you king over Israel, and Yahweh sent you on a mission and said, Go utterly destroy the sinners, the Amalekites, and fight against them till they are consumed. Why then did you not obey the voice of the Most High? Why did you swoop down on the spoil and do what was evil in the sight of God? Saul said to Samuel, I have obeyed the voice of the Most High. I have gone on the mission on which Yahweh sent me. I have brought Agag, the king of Amalek, and I have utterly destroyed the Amalekites. But from the spoil the people took sheep and cattle, the best of the things devoted to destruction, to sacrifice to Yahweh your God in Gilgal. Samuel said, Has Yahweh has the has Yahweh as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as in obedience to the voice of the Most High? Surely to obey is to better than to sacrifice, and to heed than the fat of rams. For rebellion is no less a sin than divination, and stubbornness is like iniquity and idolatry. Because you have rejected the word of Yahweh, he has also rejected you from being king. Here ends the lesson. And now, in the words our Savior taught us, we're bold to say, Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. We delight in your law, Most High God, and walk in your ways. Grant us your blessings, and may all our endeavors find favor in your sight and prosper. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Alleluia! This is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Alleluia! And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.